Hi everyone, welcome back to The Witcher 3. I'm back where we left off, except I have pulled out the camera a little bit um, for Geralt because, I don't know, I feel like that made it less like claustrophobic and easier to do combat, I'm hoping. So yeah, let's get into it. So please be sure to leave a like and subscribe and let's approach which is a boy. Hi, handsome. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. Oh my god. Creepy, but very cool. Very cool. Okay, so now what I want to do is... Um, so now I'm there. I might even fast travel. Uh, I'll go to this signpost and fast travel to... Uh, so that I can go to the sign, uh, notice board. <laughs> cool. Fast travel. And then I'll call Roach again. Beautiful there. And it is dark now. Hi, geese. Here we are. Okay, so I guess I just will take all of them. And I can choose what I want to do. Oh, they're missing. Okay, this is the one we're going to do. Bastion, my brother went off to fight the Black Ones. I've reason to think he stood in the great battle nearby. He's not returned to this day. Like many others, you'll say, and you'll be in the right. But if he fell, and I know it's like he did, I'd give him up to the ground, uh, up to the ground the least. Like our fathers have done always, I'd bury him neath the barrow where our parents lie, not leave his corpse to be ate by the corpses prowling in the battleground. So I seek a man brave, able with a sword, and willing to venture out with me to find Bastion. I won't pay much for I've not much to give, but I'm not stingy with gratitude and sure to show it aptly, a plenty. Any man willing to help look for a raised hut along the road to White Orchard, near just near the bridge. I've made camp there. Dune Vil Vildenvert. Alright. Track that quest. Dune Vildenvert. That's a cool name. Heard of the Vryhead Brigade? Your kind, sir. Not you. How far away are you? Okay. To the ransacked village. Once it's safe. Dune. Do that often? Talk to your dog? It's my brother's, Bastion's. But I guess he's mine now. See, Bastion fought the Black Ones in a battle just outside the village. Haven't had word of him since. I told him, do like I did. Lose a finger or two so they won't recruit you. <laughs> too damn afeard he was. Bloody hell. I'd walk the battlefield if I were you. I did. Sea of corpses. And corpses feeding. Someone told me they're afeard of fire, so I took a torch, trying to chase them off. Horse shite, I tell oh, you. No. They're not scared. Would have ended up eaten alive if it weren't for Hussar here. Mm, Hussar. Listen, 
Guessing you carry those swords for more than show. Come with me. Keep the ghouls off. Help me find Bastion and I'll pay you well. Absolutely. Fine. I'll help you. Just... Been a few days since the battle. Chances we find your brother alive are slim. Very slim. I would have thought. But I want to find his body at least. So Bastion don't rot there in the sun with the black ones. Meet me on the hill overlooking the battlefield. We'll move on together from there. Right home. Let's do this. You're here, good. Bastion... His body must be here somewhere. Among countless others. Want to examine them one by one? Could take a while. That's the plan. You needn't fret. The recruits from White Orchard painted a small flower on their shields so as to be able to spot each other in battle. There was just a few of them. We look for the flowers, we'll find Bastion quick. Okay. No offense, but... Many a soldier's dropped his shield. Especially if he was on the losing side. If we find the shield alone, Hassan will catch the scent and lead us to Bastion. Come on. Sooner we get this done, the better. All right, all right. Go to the marked area. So many corpses. And the war has just started. Oh, yeah. All righty. Ooh, we'll close, yep. That him? No. Neighbor's son. Okay. So we need more for red shields. Come on, Hassar! Can you smell Bastion, boy? That him? No. Neighbor's son. <laughs> Come on, Hassar! Can you smell Bastion, boy? Here we go, red. That him? No. Doesn't look anything like him. <sighs> Come on, Hassar. Can you smell Bastion, boy?
Um, I don't see any of the red, so maybe I should go further. Those ghouls to eat me alive. Oh god. Stop running like a scalded cat. Help me. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so it has to be in this circle. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Red, 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 red. Uh, skin's burned off. Might be hard to tell, I oh know, boy. but could this be him? Oh, yeah. Bastion was big, broad shouldered. This one seems smaller, okay. but maybe it's the fire did that. So? He found him! Hassar's caught his scent! Come on! Okay. All right, good boy. Good boy. Keep going. But there is more. My lieutenant demanded we defecate on command. Ballista bolts landing all around, and all he could say was, a soldier with a full stomach will not step onto the battlefield. Now shit, that is an order. Can you believe it? The cretin. Stop! Oh, you're, oh, you're killing me, my, my ribs. Oh, it hurts to laugh. That needs a tourniquet. But first, want to explain what's going on here? Bastion! Is he... Has this Nilf Guardian captured you? No. He saved my life. I, I got a cut to me side. And then got hit in the head. Couldn't see anything. Rosinia found me as as he crawled across the battlefield. Yeah, his, his legs all right twisted. foot is like facing out. And so we were. Blind man leading a cripple. <laughs> found this place. I'm taking you home. We need to see to these wounds. I won't leave Rosinia. I'll own he'll die. And he can't go back to his home. He's deserted. They'll hang him. Then can and we take him with to us? the village? They'll hang us all, my Laisha included. No, the blackened stays here. Your brother, uh, brother's right, it's too risky. Or if not for him, Bastion would be dead. Yeah, exactly. Bastion only made it with the Black One's help. You show Maybe your gratitude. Nordlings aren't as barbarous as Nilfgaardians make us out to be. Well... I could give him our pa's clothes, teach him to work the field, but that accent. Fine, I'll take him in. You should. Thank you, Witcher. Your reward, and the gods protect you. I'm proud of you both, and I'm glad you're okay. Hassan, your daddy's here. Go get your daddy. Go love on your daddy, okay? You're such a good boy, you found him. Okay, but instead of going to my horse, let me find the nearest. Here we go. Alrighty. Bonk, and then we shall let's travel. Oh, over there, but let me see with my other missions. Actually, first I want to change my inventory.
Do I have stuff for that? Salandine and then drown a brain. I don't know where I would get that. Right, the white orchard. Where is that? There is a white orchard. Is White Orchard just here? Because I, I thought that was just where the man was. The dwarf. Okay, well let's fast travel there and check. And if not, then we can continue to the main mission. Here we go. Arsonist must have lit his torch here, tossed it on the roof, then fled through the orchard. Bootprints. A man's. Large. Stinks of piss and vodka. So he was drunk as well. It. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. So now what? Drowners, but he managed to escape. Lost his boots in the rush. Oh, hello. Oh, my God. That guy's got like seven hits on at once on me. Who is screaming? Clearly, this is where I get a tracks lead back to the village. Drama's brain from. Hey, Drama brain, there we go. Cool. So, in that case, I need one more of that yellow flower. Celandine. Keep an eye out. Bleeding, but not badly. 
surface wound. My gran told me about Smith's boy. Lad went missing one day, so folk nabbed a witchman that was hunting nearby, started poking him, asking. When he started twisting and squirming, so wham, bam, they knocked his head off. Oh, so it worked. Okay. Oh, some drowners. Trail ends here. Hey, I'll recognize him by his wounds. Arsonist's a charmer, too. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. I not talk to a non human. Sons of bitches, all and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? You are not right. Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. No chance. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! Will you now? <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. Now follow me. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we'll do then. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize there was someone else at home. Apologies. Don't mind me. Apologize. Gotta go. Apologize. Big dog is not doing so hard. Hey now. Oh, come on. Yep, teeter on. Come on. Come on. Freak. <laughs> Take your bloody time, will ya? Foraging while I'm waiting. <laughs> Come on, almost there. <laughs> Easy does it, Nap. Oh, that was the thing I need, I think. <laughs> Here we are. Beautiful. Yeah, no, no. Up and at him. Hmm? What? What? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap. You. I knew your mum for years. Charged her nearly a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No, Willis, I beg you. I, 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 I was drunk. Give me 
didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Uh oh. Just a tree. Oh boy. Villages love you now. Harsh punishment. Villagers will really love you now. Well, no, I don't give a flying fuck about them. You know, Up to you. I hated the black ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil's still whole, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Oh, heck yeah. Give you a good price. Lovely. A return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this what do you, what do you make? Show me your wares, need to cross it. What are your wares? Show me what you got. So, is this stuff I can sell? Yeah. Okay, and now we can, ooh. Even after I sold? Hmm. Damn. Right, so the only thing I could make is that, but I don't have it. Okay. All right, I guess I'm fine for now. So long. Okay. Those plums are wreaking havoc on my gut. Donkey! Do you hate me too? You're very cute though. Alrighty, now we can head on back. So there, and then make it over there. Let's go. The sun shine upon you. Kings do the fighting, but peasants do the dying. Lovely. Oh, I can actually also make this. So I guess should go 
there, actually. So where is she? Near the sawmill. All right, perfect. So I'll go to the sawmill, then I'll finally go to the main mission. Sawmill. Bonk. Let's go. Ready. What direction are you? Perfect. <laughs> Alrighty. Yes. Oh yes, I've a new woman named Listen, Claire. Ever heard of a woman named Claire? Lived around here. Heard of her? A mild way to put it. Claire was a friend. The only person dear to me in all of White Orchard. Until her husband Volker quarreled with the Lord of the Manor. He then gathered the family, moved out into the woods to start a new settlement. The Lord and his retinue rode there to convince them to return. They were to be civil. No forcing, no bloodshed, but... You saw. Word is Claire said something about the Lord's son, Florian. Something that made the Lord furious. But who knows the truth? Damn. Lots of misfortune for such a small village. Yeah. Tis so in every village. Even the smallest. You need only ask. But let's not end on a teary note. Here, a bit of solace. Yes. Cool. Um, I will also give this to you. Got a potion for Lena. Swallow. First sign of spring. Symbol of rebirth. Fitting as names go. We'll see. Like I said, could harm her deeply. Works on me immediately. But I have a faster metabolism. Effects won't appear in her case for a few days. Why'd you choose this in the end? Decided it was better than doing nothing. I like you, Being Witcher. a Witcher? Oh, thank you. Here. A small gift. For giving a damn. <laughs> oh. Hell yeah! Alright. This mission's done. Beautiful. Level three! Yahoo! All right. Cool beans. So does that mean I should make Swallow for myself as well? It's not an option anymore. Interesting. Oh yeah, here it is. Yeah, vitality regeneration. Okay, let's put that on down. Cool. Lovely. Alrighty, perfect. A veil hangs between the world men see and the one they cannot. This veil blocks the dead from the view of the living, and the living from the view of the dead. Some mages can break through this veil and communicate with them with the dead, or else summon them into the world of the sun for short periods of time. This is this is the art known as necromancy. The dead can also bring through the veil and enter the world breakthrough, sorry, and enter the world of the living on their own. Yet unlike the necromancers, in doing so they are not driven by reason and will, but by a thoughtless, irrational need. This need arises from powerful emotions such as regret, longing, or wrath. Very often these emotions gain their power by being invested in a material object by the dead individual while he or she still knew life. The objects most frequently 
so endowed. Wedding rings, favorite toys, or the instrument used for the crime which sent the returned individual to the other world in the first place. Interesting. All right. So now I can finally go to you. Nilfgaardian soldiers. Barbarians. What the hell is this? I don't know, oh. what is it? Oh. You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. Mm. I, I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. No, yes. no, no, by the gods, no! What? You're more Captain Nice Guess you've dropped your good uncle act. It was no act. I extended a hand to these people. They spat on it. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? Tja, a moralist. And what would you do in my stead? Wouldn't ever be in your stead. Ooh. Tell me why you've come. Because I killed the damn griffin. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time, under my nose. Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the griffin. Tit for tat. Yes, halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Yeah, I'll take the coin. I need it. <laughs> Man's gotta live. Oh, except that poor guy is getting a bloody lashing. Just grabbing these plants I haven't had before. Alrighty. Heard of the fly head brigade? Your guide, sir. It's a true. Most of them in vain. So, prepare to leave White Orchard with Vesemir. Where do I meet him? Who? Cool. Back at the bar. Fabulous. Okay. I can't decide. Should be hey. all the time. I'll make soup out of something. But at least it would not be good. There's Mia? Jennifer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so. <laughs> something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Fantastic. Time we were on our way. Mm hmm. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Why, thank you. Geralt, we should stay out of it just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took him down. Took him down to hang a golden sun there now. I cannot show Temerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? What do you want her to do? Have the, her whole livelihood burnt and ruined? I know grief eats at your heart. You no know shit. 
They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let's go! To the no. And you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't oh. fear it, you cunt! Ah. Woo! Oh. this medallion you know what it means back off you all right they say witches steal young'uns that's true what the emperor promise you freaks your own land like he did the elves once get out all of you we ain't going nowhere and neither are you oh boy back down now I can see that. I can see that. Well then. Guess it is what it is. Which of love again. Oh dear. It's all right. It's over. Okay. So you're you're fine with the violence of banging a woman's face into and don't ever come back the table until oh, damn. <laughs> until she breaks her nose, but this is too far. Getting involved. Come on, let's go. It wasn't our fault. I don't think. That brawl, we didn't start it. <gasps> excuses, excuses. Yennefer! You've not changed a bit. Woohoo! Y Yen? Oh, How? Yen, that's so cute. I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. <laughs> I knew it was you looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. <laughs> it's good to see you, Geralt. I I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? It's only a little bit of blood. I wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilf Guardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you, but I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it, in Vizima. Ready your horses. Hell yeah. We can talk here, some charming orchards nearby, in bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. Almost can't smell the corpses. Tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor awesome. Emir Var Emrys, or to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group, for as I remember last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. Okay. The kind one can't refuse. I didn't, though I could have. Hmm. Suppose I can hear him out. Know what he offered you. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. If the you Emperor were willing, of I'm willing. Lord of Metina, Ebbing, and Gamera, Sovereign of Nazare and Vicovaro, will feel honored, I'm sure. <laughs> what about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Are you sure? Besides, I've got things to do at Caremore. Remember? Yeah, I, I remember. Thanks for your help, Fezimir. See you soon. No. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Lilac and gooseberries. Yes! Oh, bye, Vesemir. Please be safe. Cool. 
cool. Okay. Hell yeah. That outfit is so slight. You recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. It was quite wholesome, actually. Just the beginning. But then. But then. Ah. It was lovely. Now trail. Oh, damn. <sighs> Jennifer, how big? We'll talk of this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. One day late. <laughs> Three different women scrubbing you. Aren't you lucky? Are you gonna scrub me now? Mm. It must suffice. Oh, well, thank you. What a gentleman. Thinking who cares if I'm clean? The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. On the, the what now? <laughs> yeah, the what now? In that chair. <laughs> oh God, I'm glistening. <laughs> I'm like, got baby oil all down me. Something wrong with my beard. Fine. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your That's elements. a nice way to put it, actually. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Okay, if there's lice in it, then yeah, Take cut it off. <laughs> Sit still. Okay. Make me peedy. How goes it? Preparations for the audience proceeding as planned. Yes, General. The gentleman will be more or less presentable. Who's this guy? He a barber too. <laughs> he a barber too. Girl wants the three women back in. Get these fools out. <laughs> Commander of the Albert Division. Yennefer's escort. They were my men. All uh, of them. I'm sorry. Indeed, were. For none have returned to Vizio, have they? I truly wonder what happened on the road yesterday. Perhaps you could enlighten me. You have time. And a uh, razor to your throat. Yeah, the Wild Hunt. Wild Hunt killed them. A cavalcade of wraiths dashing across the night sky. These omens of war, the peasantry bubbles about. <laughs> Expect me to believe that. Frankly, I don't really give a damn. <laughs> Nordlings. Hell yeah. We can bathe you, shave you, and clothe you, but teaching you manners, that will be a challenge. Nice meeting you too. Nice meeting you too. <laughs> Shall I shave him once more against the grain? No. He himself is very much against the grain. <laughs> That's enough. Farewell, Witcher. Or rather, 
See you soon. Okay. Good. Now the gentleman may dress. Woohoo! Do I got something fancy to wear? You gonna watch me? Ooh, I get Shall options! I exact measurements. If the garments chafe, our tailor will adjust them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> black, black, or black. <laughs> We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Cool. Alright, which one shall I choose? That's pretty cool. I like that, but maybe for like a, a lady. Like, I would personally like that. Ooh, that's nice too. Okay, they're pretty similar. And the difference is the like design. Cool. How about this one? Oh, I can take them all. All. Let's go. Okay. This might come as news to the gentleman, but the towel wrapped around one's waist is not fitting. So. Aha! Aha! Okay, cool! Alright. Uh huh. Yeah, I think maybe that one. Okay. Oops. They all look the same. They are all the same. As are the pets. Uh huh. <laughs> Ah, lovely. The gentleman will kindly dress. The gentleman will kindly dress. Black suits the gentleman. Oh, thank you. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Suppose so. A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. <laughs> but tough. When in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose. <laughs> No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Um. Confirm away? Confirm away. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. Easy. The gentleman will rehearse. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Once more. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's this way. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. <laughs> Come with me. Y'all are so nasty. Alright, let's go. The gentleman will address the emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate type. Your arch magnificency. I think the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the emperor might not share his disposition. Your majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. I said I could loot for a second and then it went away.
A shame I have no time. go up but wow I like these stairs these spiral stairs that's so cool okay, close door okay, I'm coming I'm coming <laughs> don't mind me in Grimmy at art cats Daifen Aden in Karn eb Marvut. Emir var Emreis. Bow. I don't see bowing as like a degrading thing at all, so I don't care. I'm happy to bow to anyone. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen, vat gern favort. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. <laughs> what also, I practice bowing for him. I just, I don't see it as like a, a sign Take of weakness or anything, but like, some people days. do. I don't. So, silence. What do you want? My daughter, Cyrilla. She's returned. Oh my God. She's in danger. <laughs> the wild hunt pursues her. But oh my god, her painting! You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yanafu will do that after the audience. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. No. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you more than you customarily receive for a contract. Good, you should pay considerably me. Considerably more. Hell yeah. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me, only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith, take him to the sorceress. Okay. Is there a jacuzzi in the room with the sorceress? Yes. Follow me, if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace whom the gentleman disgusts. Need not <laughs> discuss. <laughs> Need not bother. Okay. I love the inspirations of so many different cultures here, whether it be like a lot of Eastern European cultures to obviously a lot of like Irish, Scottish, Welsh cultures, like all of it. It's very fun and a lot of Nordic inspiration, obviously, that I expected. So pretty! Stop making me look away. <gasps> so pretty! 
Sorry, I realised they're plants that I can find anywhere. I thought they would be exclusive to this fancy area, but these guys aren't that cool. he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Is it in here? No, just in here. Yes, then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild, here? but the church of the eternal Tings. fire and the criminal Fell over. world. At times it is difficult to tell the one from the other. They both display a similar ruthlessness and cynicism. Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. You know what? I'll write the report myself. You'll need only prepare a clean draft. Dumpling? <gasps> oh, yeah. So, wait, the, the pierogi kind or the Jalongbao kind? Because it actually doesn't matter. I like both. So. Ignore me. A veggie me. <gasps> Geralt. That tunic, you look positively smashing. Oh, thank you. Uh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? For Siri. Uh -huh. And seems we're in the same boat now. But do you know Siri? Siri. She's really back. No chance he's mistaken. Look. That's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents can. <gasps> wow. Our little witch has grown into yeah, a Yeah, our little witch. Okay, so you it does know her. Aww. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. <laughs> I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Siri, all right? Mm -hmm. Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they, they track were us down? On our butts. Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, oh, no. really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it perhaps even find me but I thought I'd trick them well guess you were wrong mm. I've sensed them on my trail hunting me for some time if not for you and Amir's soldiers they'd have gotten what they were after I can't risk another encounter like that it's time to put away the magic turn to more traditional methods where they can't track you to the best tracker I know you must find her Geralt before the wild hunt does Okay. So where has Siri been seen exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Okay. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. So are you gonna stay here? That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun, <laughs> your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. Well, All we do have in wicked handshake. Unconformed reports, rumors, but there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance, Triss Merigold. Apparently, she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure, sure. she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. Okay. I believe this had something to do with Siri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Will you be safe to travel there? One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen. I'd lost my memory. Oh, really? interesting. That's your excuse? So that's what happened with that memory? Yeah, okay. Let's drop it, alright? 
It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Hmm. Yeah, that is complicated. That's hard. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. <laughs> Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish They're to learn what happened couple. in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. Mm. I shall be waiting. Hell yeah. Oh, wow, look at the physics of the skirt. That was beautiful. You could, like, see the velvet. Okay, baddie. Fun things. The wild hunt. Great, always wanted a rusty bread knife. a lot like Geralt. Ooh, letter to Yennefer. Hmm. Yennefer, my dear friend, thank you for your letter. Forgive me for not answering your earlier attempt to reach me via Megascope. I am trying to limit my magic communication to the absolute minimum. One never knows who's listening, don't you agree? I am delighted you have found a position at our gracious Emperor's court and wish you the best of luck in search for his daughter. It is good to know that em Emir's intentions for her have become more, how shall I put it, mundane. Perhaps in these circumstances an agreement regarding the Lodge will prove possible after all. In response to your first question, I can state beyond all doubt that Siri has not appeared anywhere south of Yaruga. Believe me, I could recognize her magic signature in my sleep. I have not had any contact with Triss for a long time. I only know that things in Novogra Novograd have taken an ill turn. She mentioned something earlier about fleeing to Kovir, but I am afraid that in the current political climate that amounts to an impossible daydream. I hope I will soon be able to join you in Vizima. First, however, I must take care of some unfortunate yet urgent matters in Beauclair. With my fondest regards, Fringilla Vigo. P.S. Thank you for the news about Geralt. He always seems to land on his feet, doesn't he? Hmm. Right oh. A shame I have no time. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. <laughs> Yay! Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Why, thank mm. you. Thanks, bunches. Thanks, bunches. <laughs> That's and so cute. Not long for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah. If you don't think that's what he wants, sword. you're crazy. So long. Right, hell yeah. We did it. Lovely. Mm. 
Oh, you. You okay? Oh, I could play Gwent with him. <laughs> See you. <laughs> That's cool though. I like that. Switch to continent view, press triangle. Uh -huh. Lovely. So, Velen is the first place we're going to. Ooh, suggest level five. All right, okay. In that case, I might leave this episode here, everyone, and uh, we can continue in the next one. But thank you all so, so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And yes, can I go back in here? Oh, hell, dumpling again. Right, yeah, might leave it here. Getting some goods. Perfect. Okay, and now, actually, before I finish. Sorry, here we go. Cool. And I'll finish it with reading about Cyrilla. And then I can end it there. Cyrilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon. What can I possibly say about her? Oh, wait, so we already re uh, read that beginning one. But now that she's older and she looks really cool. So now... Following age-old Witcher tradition, Geralt took... Oh wait, I've read this part. Okay. Yennefer made it clear why the Wild Hunt wanted Ciri. Eredin wanted the power latent in her elder blood. She also let Geralt know that Ciri had been seen in a war-ravaged Velen, as well as in Novrigard, the la largest city in the world. Perfect, so that's where we go from there. Next up will be Velen. Alrighty, everyone. Alrighty, everyone. I'll leave this episode here. And uh, yeah, I will continue in the next one. We'll make our way to Velen. So please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.